to another Swift tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at how we can add headers, footers, and sections to our table view. So we've covered table views already, so if you haven't watched that video, I'd encourage you to watch that, as well as how to add custom cells. In this one, we're going to look at more nitty-gritty things like sections, headers, and footers. So with that being said, let's open up Xcode and our simulator. And once those are up, we're going to create a new single view application project. So let's hit new project. Once Xcode decides to load, we're going to give it a name. We're going to call it, let's call it test. And we're going to save it on our desktop. So save it wherever you'd like. And let's expand our window here. Let's head to our view controller and we're going to implement a basic table view. And again, if you haven't seen that video or if you need uh, clarity on how to do that, I would encourage you to watch that first and foremost. So we're going to create an outlet. It's going to be a UI table view. And we're going to assign the delegate and data source to this table view. We're going to implement the delegate in the data source for the view controller. Let's get rid of that. We have the delegate and then we're going to copy this and we're going to pull out the data source like so. And here we're going to do number of rows. Let's do, I don't know, three and we're going to do cell for row, we're going to get a cell, we're going to DQ cell, and we're going to do this one, let's actually use the other one, so we want DQ cell, we want this one, which takes in the identifier and the index path. And we are going to return the cell. In the cell, we're just going to set some text so we can actually see it. So we're going to say the text labels text is, let's just do test for now. Let's see, what else do we need? In the delegate, we're going to do did select cell. And we're going to do table view, whoops. Nope, that's not the one we want. That's not the function we need. We want did select cell. And it's not popping up. Table view did select. There we go. That's still not what we need. Bear with me while the autocomplete decides to not work. We want this one. Did select uh, row. So in here, we want to do table view, deselect to unhighlight it, and it's going to be an index path animated as true. We're going to head to our storyboard and now drag on a table view and connect the outlet. So let's do that by going to main.storyboard. And let's open up our library of items by clicking this. And we're going to search for a table view. Bring it on in, drop it on. We're going to add some constraints to this, and we do that by clicking on this. And we're going to do 0, 0, 0, 0. Now in here, we want to specify the cell identifier that we used in our view controller, which was cell. And before we do that, we actually want to bring in one prototype cell. So hit that table view, come up here, and increment this number, which is prototype cells. You'll see we have another thing in here if we expand this, which is a table view cell. Let's click it, come up here again, and give it an ID of cell. Last but not least, let's right click the view controller and connect our outlet. Cool, let's run it and we should see a basic table view. And this uh, sets us up to start talking about sections, footers, and headers. So this is a basic table view implementation. Uh, we'll see three cells here, hopefully if I didn't miss anything, that say test, like so, beautiful. So that's a basic table view. Now let's jump into headers, footers, and sections. So if you're not familiar, uh, sections in the table view just allow you to group various cells together. 
uh, visually creating sections. So if you open up the settings app that's built into iOS, you'll see that some cells are logically organized by the category. Uh, headers are kind of a, as a sound, you could add a whole header to the entire table view. Each section can have a header as well, but we're not going to cover that here. Same thing for the footer, you can add an entire footer to the entirety of the table view. So let's start with sections. What I'm also going to do is in the view controller, I'm going to set a background color to the cell to make it a little easier to see. So we're going to say cell dot background color. Let's make this red and let's, uh, whoops, background color, not background view. Let's run it. Let's make sure they come out as red. Cool. So to add sections, it's actually fairly easy. Similar to this function that we have here, which says number of rows in section, there's another function called number of sections, as you can apply, and you can override it. Rather, you can implement it to specify how many sections you want. So if you don't have this function implemented, by default, it gives you one section, it being the system. So let's do, I don't know, let's do five and run it. Now what we're going to have is these five sections that they're all um, very like flush with each other so you can't see the um the where one section starts and the other one ends but we see if we count these 15 rows now where do we get 15 from the way we got 15 is each of these sections we've specified has three rows so let's add some um some room between each section by doing height for uh header in section and let's return like 20 and this will basically add 20 to the top of each section and we can see them separately now so a couple important things to note here uh, we don't necessarily want three cells in each section so how do we specify a different number in here for each time we call this for a new section the way you generally do that is with a model so what I mean by that is if you have an array of strings that you want to show in the cells, for example, let's create a data array. Let's do apples, oranges, grapes. And we're going to return um, the count of this. And we're going to return for the text, we'll return this and index path dot row. And note this index path dot row, we're going to dive into that a little bit and run it. We'll see that we see what we have in our array, but we see it multiple times here. Now, what if we want to dynamically populate how many sections and how many cells we have within each section? We can do an array of arrays. So what that means is we can do an array. And here we can do these fruits and let's do numbers and let's do, and they don't have to be three. Keep that in mind. I'm just using three as an arbitrary number. Let's just do one. So now what we can say is how many sections do we want? Well, we want the count of data because the data has three arrays in it. So for sections, instead of specifying a number uh, manually, you can do data.count. Then now, now what we want to do in here is for the number of rows in the section, we want to return the number of items in each of these internal arrays. So this is section one, section two, section two, section, section three. So we can say data section dot count, and this will return the count of these inner arrays. And lastly, to actually assign the text, this is pretty interesting. I think so at least. Because data has arrays in it, you actually see it gives you an error. We can't assign an array to text. So first, in the data array, we want to get the index path section. And in that section, we want to get the index path row. So what this, this is saying is in data, get the array at the given section and then get the text at the given row position. So index path, as you can note now, is comprised of sections and rows. So if we run this, we'll see three sections with dynamic content and dynamic number of cells as well. So this is all data driven. You're essentially just passing it into these functions here and these functions will handle 
actually show having a show up here. So that's a section for you. Now let's uh, knock out headers and footers, and we can do those pretty uh, closely together because they're very similar. Now you can, similar to a cell, create a header and footer in the storyboard. What I would recommend doing is, in this example, we're going to do it in code because it's easier to understand and visualize. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a view called header. And let's just make it a view. Let's give it a frame, actually. And it's going to be a CG rect. Zero, zero. We want the width of the screen. So we're going to say view.width. Rather, the width of the view, which in this case is the whole screen. And I'll give it a height of 300. Similarly, let's do a footer. Let's copy and paste that. We'll do footer. We can keep these numbers the same. Now note these 0, 0 for the X and Y for both. These are irrelevant here because we're going to assign them to the table header and table footer. So the table view will position it for us. With that being said, let's give it a background color so we can actually visualize this a little better. Let's see, what did we mess up here that's giving us an error? We have a header, we have a footer, we gave it a frame, 0, 0. Uh, we want view.frame.size in here, like so. And now let's set a background color to each of these. So let's do orange. It's nice and obnoxious so we can see it. And let's do um, let's do green. And lastly, to assign these to our table, it's super, super simple. We can do table view. Whoops table view dot table header and we can say that's the header and similarly we can we can do table view dot table footer view or we can say footer um, so let's run it and we'll see that we have a huge header up here and as we go down we have a footer down here so now you can see this section is flush to the footer and that's because we can specify we haven't specified but we can um, the height for each section footer. So the important thing to understand here is there's a couple pieces. So there's the header for the whole table view. Each section has a header, which we've said is uh, 20 pixels, I believe. Yep. And each section can also have a footer, which we haven't done anything uh, with. And the whole table can have a footer. So if you think about something like the Instagram app where you have a user profile and there's pictures here and there's a top header looking thing where you have their profile picture, number of posts, followers, their bio, that's a table view header. Um, so that's that's how that's built and now you know. Um, but that's really all there is to it. To actually put in content in here, uh, quite simply, you can just start adding content to this header and footer view and it'll show up. So let's just do a quick label uh, for the sake of example. So we're gonna say let label equals UI label and let's for the frame do the same frame as the header so we can say header dot bounds uh, and we can say label dot text we'll do hello world label text alignment let's do centered and last but not least we want to add it to our header so we're going to say header add subview label and if we run this app we'll see hello world appear like so so there you have it. That's how you add table headers, table footers, and that's how you manipulate sections in a UI table view in Swift for your iOS app. If you liked the video, if you found it helpful, please do hit that like button below. Super, super helpful for the video and to help the channel grow. Subscribe if you're new. I do regular videos on Swift, iOS, software engineering in general, other tech things along the way. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.